more than 70 foster kids have gone missing from care in Kansas and police only recently found out it's summer in Kansas and three teenage sisters disappear from their great aunt's home six weeks later no trace of them has been found as questions begin to be asked about the system that placed them in their relatives care a shocking truth starts to emerge Although we tend to associate foster care with children from broken homes There are many different reasons why young people end up in the system in some cases their birth families are not able to properly fulfill their emotional and physical needs in others external circumstances may render parents temporarily incapable of caring for their child in 2017 more than 7,000 children spent time in foster care in Kansas alone of these some went on to return to their families while others ended up permanently placed with adoptive parents additionally there was a third group composed of young people who eventually grew too old for care while in the system the majority of these children were living in a family foster home after that the next most popular option was to place them in a relative's care in fact in 2017 more than 2,300 young people had been removed from their homes and temporarily accommodated this way back in March 2017 Emily Amy and Kristen Utter left their parents home to live with a foster carer Debbie Miller in Tonganoxie a city in Northeast Kansas as the great-aunt of the girls who were all under 16 years old Miller hoped to be able to provide them with a loving home then on August 26 2017 Emily Amy and Kristen disappeared from the home that Miller shares with her husband Terry as the authorities investigated they learned that the girls had been speaking about problems in their foster environment However, police failed to uncover any evidence of abuse Six weeks later and the girls were still unaccounted for on October 10th 2017 an article appeared in the Kansas City Star in it Miller appealed to the public hoping that some information could lead to a reunion with the missing youngsters We just want them to know that we love them that we just want them to come home Miller explained and it doesn't matter what's happened We can work through whatever we need to Police thought the girls were somewhere in the Kansas City area After the article was published many were left wondering why the disappearance of three vulnerable young girls had not been bigger news Soon lawmakers began to take a closer look at the foster care system. They were shocked by what they found Later on October 10th 2017 the companies responsible for arranging foster care in Kansas released some staggering statistics Apparently the utter sisters were not alone in fact, there were more than 70 children in the foster care system whose whereabouts were currently unknown in Eastern Kansas foster care is provided by KVC Kansas and During a meeting with a legislative task force the firm confessed that 38 of their charges were considered missing Meanwhile in the western part of the state st. Francis Community Services admitted that they were unable to account for a further 36 children as these figures emerged many expressed outrage how could 70 children meant to be in the care of the state simply have disappeared? I'm flabbergasted local politician Laura Kelly told the Kansas City Star What's more there was worse to come? Kelly questioned Phyllis Gilmore from the Kansas Department for Children and Families and Gilmore apparently appeared unaware of the utter sister situation The fact that the person in charge of the wards of the state has no idea that these kids are missing from her custody is just astounding to me Kelly continued Afterwards Gilmore claimed to be unable to discuss the specific case But while she acknowledged that missing teenage girls are always a cause for concern She went on to explain that there are many reasons why children might choose to leave their foster home According to Gilmore some foster children end up leaving care in order to reunite with their biological families Meanwhile others might seek out people with whom they already have a connection Additionally sometimes missing children will notify authorities that they're safe although they won't disclose their location although the amount of missing children in Kansas seems shocking KVC Kansas's chief clinical officer Chad Anderson claims that the number is similar in other states furthermore it represents just 1% of the total foster care population nevertheless Anderson admitted that the situation was less than ideal and that there was room for service to improve I don't know that we as contractors have shared as much in terms of missing youth and the day-to-day -day as we probably should he confessed to the Kansas City Star eventually the Millers hired a private investigator to help in the search for Emily Amy and Kristen then on October 14 2017 there was a break in the case 
That day, a woman contacted the Millers to tell them that she had spotted the girls in Kansas City. According to the tip, Emily, Amy, and Kristen were with 48-year-old Rogoberto Reyes Rangel, also known as Rico, a convicted felon he'd lived near the girls at a previous address. However, people do not consider them to be safe in Rangel's company and called on the public to help track them down. Finally, on October 17, 2017, police made an announcement. The three girls had been found safe and well. But even though this story has a happy ending, future situations may not pan out so well. It also just proved that there's reason for alarm for missing children, politician Jared Owsley told the Kansas City Star. It certainly puts the kids in danger, and somebody ought to be looking out for them.